the chocolate. They want to make something, something. But nigga, nigga, jump, jump, something. But we put them on a long thing. Is that real? I got something. And you. That was a lovely song by one of my favorite artists, Victor Akimadi. If you love it just as much as we all did, as you can see, you can download it on the Five Music link below. Welcome, guys, to another episode of Chick Chat Live. On today's episode, we are talking about whether or not physical attraction can grow if a spouse ticks other boxes. Our hot topic of the day is a hungry man is an angry man. And I have my lovely co-host in the studio with me today. I'm going to be dissecting the topic <laughs> I have Inni Dima Okoje, who's our lovely Hi. actor and host, beauty <laughs> entrepreneur Ezene Alpha, and the CEO of, <laughs> shall I say, uh, <laughs> Exclusive Brands Africa, yes, public wow. advocate. I just love everything you represent. Orde <laughs> Duagan. Well, thank, thank you guys you. for joining me Thanks today. Thanks for having thank me. You. So, on the first um, segment, I kind of I was listening to this podcast. That, um, it's called Dear Sugar. And they talk about like relationship issues and always dissecting some deep life issues. So this is a listener's letter. I just kind of want to get your perspective on it. So I'm just going to read it to you guys. Okay. Um, I've been with my girlfriend for about a year now, and I've never felt such a strong, strong connection to someone. We have more in common than I've ever shared with a partner, and our relationship progressed very quickly. The only problem is that when we first met, I didn't feel as much as a physical attraction as I thought I should. But I decided that my attraction to her on all other levels was deep enough to overcome that. I thought that our physical chemistry would grow in time, but unfortunately, it hasn't. I feel terrible and shallow for writing this, but I can't imagine how I could ever explain this to her without hurting her deeply. I've even felt some of my friends imply or say outright that they thought I could do better. Am I doing the right thing by pursuing a relationship with this wonderful person and ignoring what I perceive to be totally invented standards of beauty? Or is physical chemistry the, most, the first and most important thing in a relationship? <laughs> like, Let me start with you, beauty girl, <laughs> Izzy okay. What would you say to this guy? It's like the physical attraction is important. Like, I'm mm -hmm. not going to say, no, it's all skin deep. Nah, mm -hmm. nah. The first thing you see is the person. Mm -hmm. He sounds like he's coming from a point of view of everyone else seeing mm -hmm. her as yeah. not attractive. attractive. His friend. Yes, so. Mm -hmm. That's his, his issue is, do you want to be with her or do you want to be with your friends? Exactly. So it's more of a him thing. Yeah. Now, what do you think that this guy, do you think he's wrong? Um, I mean, obviously, physical chemistry is really important. But personally, mm -hmm. I rarely ever date people that I'm physically attracted to. Okay. It just so happens. For me, other parameters are just so much more important. And as time goes on, I just find that it doesn't really matter to me anymore. In mm -hmm. fact, mm -hmm. the one time <laughs> that I dated my type, my spec, mm -hmm. long time ago, I was in jazz too. Mm -hmm. This guy broke my heart into so many pieces. pieces. Mm -hmm. I listened to Westlife for the entire time. So I don't know, I think, <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I was heartbroken. <laughs> yeah. But um, I think it doesn't even make sense that he's bringing his friends into the equation because mm -hmm. I, they're not in a relationship with yeah. you. You cannot measure your relationship with what people say. See, if not, yeah, you, yeah. you would end up, you know, you would mm -hmm. just end up a mess because mm -hmm. people have opinions about everything. Mm -hmm. So in as much as it's important, I think if someone checks the other boxes, at least personally, that is, that's more important, important to me to you. than just the fit. But I mean, if you're not attracted to the person at all, how are you in the relationship with the person for, in the first place? You know, yeah. for that long in the first yeah. place. So there's something wrong with him. So would you say, isn't it, that he shouldn't have dated her? from the beginning because obviously this is a year in and he's like ah wait this thing hasn't grown he doesn't like her okay. <laughs> i think he's just looking for an excuse yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so there's obviously external the beauty mm -hmm. physical chemistry yeah. and there's emotional chemistry mm -hmm. so of course in other things she might be kind she might mm -hmm. be you know she might meet his every other need but physical so is he shallow yeah okay i'm not sure I, I, <laughs> because, because looks with faith okay Physical attraction is important, but the long term, everything's mm -hmm. going to droop after Beauty a while, phase, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So he has a good thing going mm -hmm. at the moment. All right, so do you think that he maybe needs to change the kind of friends he has? Because I think that there would be guys that would say that they understand what... Most guys want to be proud of their babe, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. you, yeah. It's, it's mm -hmm. an uncandy thing. You want to show off your babe, and if you can't, if they're already yimwen and like... <laughs> you know, they're guys, they'll tell yeah. you, like, why are you dating this babe, you know? Or if it's a babe that was maybe rough around the edges in school, she was a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a hoe. Mm. <laughs> a guy would tell his guy, now, guy, how you want wife this stuff? You know what I mean? But um, 
I'm in between him on the fence with whether he is shallow or being honest with himself that, look, I can't actually say that I can wake up in the morning and look at this girl every day and say, my wife, you're beautiful. Then he should leave the relationship. I think he should leave because I, I personally feel like maybe he got into it thinking it would grow. Mm -hmm. And I feel like he should have just left it as the friendship connection, mm -hmm. not even try to date her mm -hmm. if he didn't feel attracted to her. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I also feel like he needs to stop listening to his friends. Mm -hmm. Anyone yeah. in a relationship who puts whatever everybody else has to say mm -hmm. over whatever they have with the next person is mm -hmm. not ready. Yeah. And thirdly, I would agree with what she said. He doesn't like her enough. Mm -hmm. If you love somebody mm -hmm. that much, there are certain things that don't so matter to you yeah. anymore. So I don't think he has that kind of chemistry love for her. He, mm -hmm. he might like her as a friend. Mm -hmm. You know, we connect, we talk, we can chat for three hours and mm -hmm. that's fine. But if you say you love somebody that mm -hmm. you were dated for a year, mm -hmm. and hopefully, I don't know, you might get married to someday, no matter what anybody says about that person, exactly. you wouldn't even think about it. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, you will shut them over, mm -hmm. you know, so that you can stick to that relationship. So I wouldn't necessarily say he's shallow because mm -hmm. for me, to be honest, in some cases, physical attraction is important. Mm -hmm. But from the beginning, I have to weigh my options, okay? Am I ever going to be physically attracted to you? Okay, mm -hmm. Let me not just bother. Mm -hmm. Let's stay in the Okay, so zone. you can, you can, so you think it can grow then? It can grow. Of oh course. yes, physical attraction can grow. In mm -hmm. fact, in most cases, I think it grows mm -hmm. <laughs> over mm -hmm. time because you always find some very gorgeous looking lady mm -hmm. with a guy who isn't even her standard and you wonder how those two people have exactly. been together for a really long time mm -hmm. so it might it would grow because there are other needs mm -hmm. that that you need to meet mm -hmm. for to anybody mm -hmm. yeah needs that a guy needs to meet to a woman the needs the woman mm -hmm. meets a guy that kind of like covers up the whole mm -hmm. physical attraction thing yeah and that's what it is for me so for the fact that he's basing his relationship on her physical attraction he, he doesn't loves. love her enough. yeah mm -hmm. haven't yeah. you been with someone at first you're like no but then after a while, their imperfections and their uniqueness just begin to look yes. so beautiful because of how beautiful of a person they are. I don't know if it's just me, but like for me, like I beauty for me is not just physical. physical. It's not enough. Mm -hmm. It's not enough for me. I wouldn't mind if my complete man came mm -hmm. in my spec. Mm -hmm. But um for me, it's not it's not enough. I see mm -hmm. way, way beyond the physical. So do you think that he should tell her the reason because she is going Absolutely to ask not. so you don't think a year is enough i don't think you should tell her a year is enough to, to grow because you were saying it can grow it, you don't think no no, no it hasn't grown now it's never going exactly. to grow he needs to leave her alone yeah. to be i honest. never give her the reason no never and just her come up with something silly. Yeah, he does not he if he if he tells her he's very mean mm -hmm. he's, he's an unkind person, person. okay yeah. after the break we're going to come back and discuss our hot topic of the day Our story today is, a hungry man is an angry man. Here's the story. I got married to the love of my life recently. We were together for a year and got married about a month ago. We get on very well and haven't really had any fights up until now. A week after our wedding, my hubby was hungry. I asked him what he wanted and he said anything. I opened up the freezer and noticed some leftover moi moi from our wedding, which he mentioned on the day he really enjoyed. After steaming, I served him on a tray, but I was shocked by what suddenly happened. My hubby took a look at the plate and asked me, where is this moi moi from? I replied, our wedding babe, the one you liked. My hubby picked up the hot moi moi in the leaf and threw it at me. In fact, he stoned me and said, how can you serve me a week old moi moi? I immediately rushed to the bathroom to wash my face and see if it was him or a ghost who had just done this. I was too shocked. I confided in an aunt of mine whom I respect dearly. She is one I consider wise. I was again surprised by her response. Is this what you are crying over? He stoned you with moi moi? Go back and apologize to your husband when he's not angry and prepare him fresh meals from now. A part of my mind sees this as a one-off. Another part is saying it starts with stoning, then a broken hand, and then my deathbed. What was it that I did that was so disrespectful? What else will I say that will trigger him? Another auntie slapped my thighs when I burst out crying after church because the sermon was overwhelming. Wives, be submissive, blah, 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 blah. Listen to your husband. She exhaled deeply and said, There will be plenty more. This is nothing. My husband has called me terrible names. Stupid, idiot, fool. You better grow thick skin and fight for your marriage. I am so crushed. Is verbal abuse something I should put up with? Or am I dramatic with not overlooking what I see as a mini act of violence? 
Welcome back, guys. Well, you heard how crazy that story was. We are excited to give you our opinion. <laughs> let me start with this. Do you think that there was anything wrong in giving a week old moi moi? Personally, I don't mind. Mm-hmm. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. You, you know what I mean? Wrong. I don't mind if it. If it's been in the freezer and there's lights, been, right? And there's yeah. light. And mm-hmm. it's still good. I'm sure she's not insane now. Mm-hmm. She would have smelled it. Oh, is this good? She would have mm-hmm. maybe even yeah, tasted, tasted it. Tasted it. Yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong. But then if your partner doesn't like it and, you know, you're... There should be there should be a free form. This is a marriage you're talking mm-hmm. about. This is not like boarding school people just missing for the first time. Mm-hmm. So if he didn't like it, he should have expressed that verbally. Mm-hmm. Darling, baby girl, uh uh-uh, uh, mm-hmm. come on now. And then she go, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. there, there are ways to handle these things. How mm-hmm. is it okay to throw hot moi moi on her face? Well, whilst that is not a, a, a good reaction, mm-hmm. some people say that the offense that she committed was grave enough for her to deserve something. What was Maybe the not moi moi. What's the something? But I've had this discussion with people and they feel that why would she give her husband a week I need old to, still food? I don't understand. Let me say something. And that's insulting to a man. Let me say something from the point of a chef mm-hmm. and the point of a wife. Mm-hmm. Now, you can put moi moi in the freezer, mm-hmm. even if you leave it for a month mm-hmm. and you bring it out and steam, steam it. it. You don't mm-hmm. put it in the microwave, mm-hmm. you steam it. It mm-hmm. would be brand new, mm-hmm. well, as literally, enough, or as close enough. Mm-hmm. So that is not even an offense in the first place. Mm-hmm. Right. To, to even say, okay, I would take it and throw it at you. Mm-hmm. Okay, say so maybe she came and she was a bit rude and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Still, mm-hmm. doesn't still give you the right to take something hot mm-hmm. and throw it at your wife. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of problems with this story. Mm-hmm. It's enough <laughs> problems. I don't understand how you can't just get up and walk away. Mm-hmm. She gave you a week old moima, you don't like it. Even if you don't want to say, oh baby, this moima, you don't want to call her any nicknames, just walk away. Mm-hmm. Or don't eat it. Or don't, don't eat, eat it. it. <laughs> she will get the message. Yeah, don't she'll get the message. Eat it. Yeah. Don't pick up. Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous. And then some people might say, oh, when they were dating, he must mm-hmm. have said, no, no, no. A couple of days ago, a girl said to me, oh, her husband, before she got married to him, it was takeout, Indomie, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then one, all of a sudden, when he got married, he wants his food cooked fresh. He doesn't want it out of So you can't say to her, oh, didn't you know this is how it was when we were dating? Because you know, sometimes are, men do change. change. Yeah. They change. No, I've heard married. that men... I think men change with age anyway, but I've heard that they... Well, from the day, day after... The from the day you wife. enter, the night of your wedding, yep. he has changed. It's not even changing. They start to show their true self. So, yes. yes. It starts to come yes. out. Because when they feel like they've gotten you, you're not mm. doing anything. But anyway. I feel like we pretend to, though. Like, we women. Like, we a lot know. of women pretend. To an extent. Yeah, and until you get the ring. Until you get... And then all of a sudden, all of a <laughs> sudden, you ain't cooking. So... <laughs> <laughs> but this day, you used to cook jollof rice before. Now, what's going on? Like, all of a sudden, no more food in the house. So, okay. Can I say something mm-hmm. very quickly? And that is why my mom mm-hmm. is always telling me, see, when you're dating a guy... Do mm-hmm. not cook. Be... No, not do Be not yourself. cook. Be yourself. Be yourself. Mm-hmm. You need to let him, yourself. Let him love who you are. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Who he is as mm-hmm. a person. If you're not the person, then do not pretend. Do not show. Mm-hmm. Because if you cannot sustain it, mm-hmm. that is when hot boy might be yeah. 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 You know what I mean? Yeah. But that is an inner strength that I think most people have to... It's mm-hmm. an every, Even to be yourself and to remain yourself, mm-hmm. you have to constantly tell yourself that you are enough and you are yeah. okay. Yeah. I think that a lot yeah. of women in Nigeria don't feel that they are enough. They fear losing it so much mm-hmm. because, let's face it, mm. they're like 100 men to one man. Man is exactly. expensive. So when you catch the one that is okay, you know and what I mean? People want to hold on. Yeah, that's the problem. People want to hold on because there's very few men. So when you do but, find the guy that is treating you just okay, okay you hold on just because you don't know when the next boss <laughs> is gonna come along, so I, I'm and I'm not excusing it, mm-hmm. but I find that that's the reason why like a lot of girls put up with you know some of the stuff. Mm-hmm. So I want to address um, what the auntie said of go back to your husband. So mm-hmm. should she leave the house? So cause I asked my friend a question. Okay, so what happens in a case where you leave the house for a day because you feel like that's bad behavior? Somebody said to me, ah, ah you Americana, Londoner, <laughs> be doing a Oyibo remedy. And that you cannot leave your house <laughs> for a man. Do you agree with that? I'm going to sound a bit ridiculous, mm-hmm. but it really is just moi moi. Mm-hmm. So it's not enough to say you want to leave the marriage married. after all. Mm-hmm. But when things like that happen, <clears throat> the first thing you should really do is step away from the situation. Because if you don't, it's going to escalate. And I'm going to speak from experience. The first mm-hmm. time I got hit, mm-hmm. I literally, it escalated. Mm-hmm. In, it, it became more than it should have been. Mm-hmm. If I had just stepped away for like, I don't know, Mm -hmm. 20, 30 minutes, Mm -hmm. you know, I would have said, okay, this is not worth 
the trouble. Mm -hmm. Let's just calm down later or a day or two after. And it became a problem. It became, you know, from that heat is to brew and mm -hmm. it became a huge thing. So it's okay to step away. Mm -hmm. I don't buy so the whole Nigerian. So did you have a moin moin? So maybe you have a moin moin story before? That you didn't take notice of no, and then it became something I didn't else. have a moin moin story. Mine was straight up to the physical. Okay. Yeah, it was straight up to the physical. And even so like what that, did you do the first time I didn't happened? leave the marriage. Because because yeah. I am the kind of person I am. Mm -hmm. So I just said, you actually walked out of the house and I locked mm -hmm. the door. I said, because if he comes back in here, I might take a knife and stab him mm -hmm. because I was in shock. So it's okay to step away from the situation for at least... Even if it's not a day, mm -hmm. for a few hours, come mm -hmm. back and then talk. In church, so mm -hmm. she's listening to this sermon, wives be submissive, mm -hmm. right? So in the domestic violence realm, there are women that feel that being submissive, in fact, I saw something on Instagram recently. Ah, I don't know if you guys saw it, <laughs> where a guy was saying, you know, he beats his woman so that she can listen or something yeah, like that. Something, something, something very ignorant along the time. So some women, I mean, not some kind of women mm -hmm. feel that part of being submissive is taking abuse. No. What would you say to being submissive just versus accepting abuse? Yes. I'm, I'm with you. After using this. Being <laughs> submissive obviously has nothing mm -hmm. to do with taking taking any kind of abuse from any man. Mm -hmm. What is the teaching about a man mm -hmm. in his actions to his woman? Mm -hmm. Supposed to care for her, love her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I, to be honest, I don't even blame the auntie. Mm -hmm. Because if I was going to, if that ever happened to me, and I went to my mom mm -hmm. and my grandma. My mom would tell me, girl, mm -hmm. come back home. Um, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. To my house. Mm -hmm. And we need to, you know. Mm -hmm. My grandma would say something different. Mm -hmm. Because she was brought her up. Her school of thought is different. You know what I mean? Her school of her perspective is different. Mm -hmm. She was married at 13. Her husband was like her mm -hmm. father. Mm -hmm. And that is wow. just what. So she is not, that advice is out of love. Because mm -hmm. what she knows. knows yeah. You know what I mean? So the auntie is just... Mm -hmm. Ignorant and she's in her own world, mm -hmm. but um, being submissive mm -hmm. has nothing mm -hmm. to do with accepting rubbish, mm -hmm. it's nonsense. Yeah, people get hurt, people die. Mm -hmm. There's so many stories of women literally dying mm -hmm. in domestic violence. That is not okay, mm -hmm. that is not acceptable. That thing needs also okay. be put mm -hmm. into context. In the Bible, it says that the man should love his wife like Christ I'm loved the church, church. Exactly. Mm -hmm. so that is who I'm supposed to be submissive to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, so let's put in not like just some so, lousy so guy. Anything, yeah. So they always just take that out. Like, this is a man's world. Da, 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 da. They always take the thing out mm -hmm. and focus on the woman. Who's talking to the guy? Mm -hmm. huh. No who's one. telling? Who's telling? Because even in the story, yeah. it's, it's, it's the girls, the woman. Nobody's the talking Bible. to the guy. And I also feel like with older ladies, sorry, no mm -hmm. offense. I just think like when they see a younger girl that they see she she expects more, but it's what they got. So mm -hmm. they're like, why, why, why does this one not think that she, she, yeah, she can, they yeah. can call you idiots too? Mm -hmm. Or they can call you idiots. They called me idiots and I didn't go away, so they must... I don't yeah. know. I just feel like it's a, they mm -hmm. did it to me, so why can't they do it to, to you? Who are you type mm -hmm. in your young? What do you know? Mm -hmm. I think that's where they come from. So, so they think they're lost. reinforcing these what, yeah. warped values. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's how I feel. I feel like a lot of people take that submissive thing out of context from the Bible to mm -hmm. use it as a tool against mm -hmm. women yes. mm -hmm. and it's absolutely not core cool. mm -hmm. because if you go further down in that same verse it says submit yourself one to another mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. meaning partnership meaning exactly. teamwork girl you better preach up on here because yeah. I just said I mean mm -hmm. when after my divorce I really needed to go through like a self-healing process mm -hmm. so I took myself back to the drawing book to really understand what it means to be single mm -hmm. prepare myself again if mm -hmm. I'm ever going to get married mm -hmm. and a lot of books say and you know went back to the whole submission what did God have to say God told the man, love your wife like Christ loved the church. Mm. Christ died on the cross mm -hmm. for the for church. The church. Mm -hmm. I can be submissive to you. Yes, that's without having to be mm -hmm. stepped you know, on. If the guy you know, is the right, you, you don't have to be by a woman you. to be submissive. Like, no, you don't that's what she wants to. She's she to do. Yes. And it's, it's like second nature. And when so, people, so I don't see why anyone would have to force. Understand, you know, when people are using the Bible context, they need to ask the Holy Spirit for in insights. Because mm -hmm. really and yep. truly, when you understand what God asks <laughs> us to do in marriage, mm -hmm. divine love, mm -hmm. really and truly, when you say, okay, I'm marrying this woman because I love her from the point of view of God, mm -hmm. even when you argue, it's never going to get to a point where it would escalate. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, she's going to go back to this house because mm -hmm. everybody agrees that it's a week after your mm -hmm. wedding. Yeah. You can't really give up mm -hmm. on your marriage. Except it was like, he really hit her because there are some times where it's actually more physical. Yes. Because if she reacts, no, that she happened to walk away. She went to go and even wash her face. Eh? To understand to what, understand just, happened. what <laughs> just happened. But in the case where it's actually more physical, how do you 
what is the remedy to that situation? You because go. every man is different. You go. You go. You go. To you go back home guess, or you, no, leave no, no, you leave once it's violence once, once the first no, day. No, 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 no. The first day you don't, you don't necessarily leave mm-hmm. on that first day because men are different, mm-hmm. really and truly. It might get to a point where you tell the man you have a communication back to being spiritual, you pray, you mm-hmm. actually ask God for better mm-hmm. understanding between mm-hmm. yourselves. And some men will never do it again. Mm-hmm. Never. There are some men that would never raise their hand again. Mm-hmm. But if it happens again, mm-hmm. it's going to happen again yeah. and again. Yeah. So if it happens again, and then obviously the next time it happens, it's going to be worse than the first time it happened. Mm-hmm. That's the only ground that I would say, okay, you can go. I mean, the first time I got beat up, I went to say sorry the next morning. You apologized? Yes, I apologized. Why? <laughs> because this is what... I mean, I know that happens in Nigeria, but... Like, marriage abuse does to you. Mm-hmm. You become victimized. Yeah. You now feel like you are the person who is at fault mm-hmm. at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. So I felt so like. So you actually felt. Oh, it. yeah. I Not felt that like maybe it was. Mm-hmm. Maybe it was me that caused me because I was. The whole issue started because I was getting an award for the movie that I did. Mm-hmm. And, you know, there was a bit of. Jealousy? Yes. Mm-hmm. That had stemmed over the years. And mm-hmm. this was like the height of it. Oh, you're getting recognized in LA and mm-hmm. blah, 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 whatever. And um, I now started to feel that ah, maybe I should withdraw my back, success yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just so that mm-hmm. I don't have issues in my home. Mm-hmm. But I didn't understand that if this man truly loves you, as mm-hmm. he claims that he does, he would support that right. success. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't get that at that time because mm-hmm. I was young and stupid. But you weren't, so you weren't, you weren't trying <laughs> to dumb down yourself. Yeah, if you just sort of answer that. Because I'm like, before the first time mm-hmm. he is violent, violent towards you, there has to be some signs. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. There has to. He, has, he must have shown oh, yes. signs of aggression. Yes. Mm-hmm. But I feel like may, in, the prayer is maybe not fall into the hands exactly. of the Amen. Man, because Preach. a life partner, a life partner <laughs> can serious. make or, or break you. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. But for the purpose of the people who maybe haven't, you know, well, I may be speaking to myself, I've not entered Osma's house yet. <laughs> um, what would you say to this girl that this has happened now? If, for instance, she's not working, I think my advice to her would be, get a girl, job. you better go get a job. Get a job. Oh, yeah. If a sign like this happens where it's like, Verbal abuse starts get to happen job. and you're not working, girl, you need to get a job. Or, or two. Yeah. <laughs> you know what Generally. I mean? And make sure that you're not having more children yeah. oh. than you can handle yourself. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes, you know, the second child happens, you know, you're in a marriage that is already shaky. Then the second child happens. Then you now have three children in a shaky. I think you need to kind of put your mm-hmm. brain on mm-hmm. as quickly as you can because... This is not something that you can obviously rely on to, yeah. you know, raise your kids. Mm-hmm. Um, so in terms of, you know, you have two two children. In terms of staying for the kids. <sighs> so we've kind of almost digressed <laughs> from the Moi Moi because the Moi Moi is kind of leading us to like domestic violence yeah, yeah. in general. Mm-hmm. So the women that stay for the kids. I was raised by a single mother and I don't think I'm that, you know, I might be a little crazy. Girl, right? you're fine. <laughs> you know what I'm I don't think I'm that disturbed. You know what I mean? People think that, oh, they want that fatherly. Do you think that you were trying to hold it together because of the children? Um, I mean, this is what it is. Our society gives no other option except that they feel like, okay, if kids are not raised by mom and dad, there's Mm -hmm. always going to be a problem. Problem. And I'm not doubting that. Yes, in some cases, when children are not raised by both parents, Mm -hmm. there is a problem. But that really depends on who is raising them. Mm -hmm. I mean, I did try to stay for my daughter. I mean, the first physical violence, it was just my daughter. I wasn't pregnant for my Mm -hmm. son then. Um, But... I knew that I had to leave at some point when she started exhibiting the things she was saying. Mm. So, so she, she would go out. home, yeah. um, go to school and do like a scribbling of daddy beating mommy. So she would write it and she the would scribble. Would so the teacher would say, oh, so what happened this weekend, Michaela? And she would say, oh, daddy was angry at mommy and daddy beat mommy and stuff like oh, that. Wow. And the teacher would call me in school and say, oh, so what's going on at home? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's really you. <yeah. laughs> yeah. And she was three years old at the time. Yeah. But I had to so get up and... pick up these things. Oh, they pick oh, up these things. Yeah. They do pick up these things. I had to wake up and say, you know what, already, 
this girl is going to grow up to be aggressive mm-hmm. if she lives in this environment. Mm-hmm. I'd rather raise up my kids as a happy single woman, mm-hmm. know that they understand what it means to be healthy and whole mm-hmm. as an individual and a person, than for me to always be crying in the face of my kids. And mm-hmm. that was what it was. Mm-hmm. Half of the time, my daughter would come and hug me and say, Mommy, please stop crying. Mm-hmm. So they always saw you broken. She always mm-hmm. saw me broken, literally. Mm-hmm. Even when I left, I had gone to LA for about a year. It was mm-hmm. just me and her at the time and I was pregnant and I would cry and cry and she would just come and say, Mommy, why are you crying? Why are you mm-hmm. always upset? So she now became even overprotective of me. Mm-hmm. Anybody who comes around, she's like, yeah, mm-hmm. so what do you want me? My mom yeah, <laughs> sort of situation, yeah, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. don't touch my mom, mom don't yeah. hurt my mom, stuff like that. And I didn't want that. Mm-hmm. I didn't want my daughter to grow up in such a toxic environment exactly. where she doesn't yeah. understand what it means to love. love. Yeah. Because clearly, her father didn't love me and I didn't love him. Mm-hmm. And it was always an issue. And she's going to grow seeing that, okay, maybe it's okay for the man to be beating mm-hmm. a woman. Mm-hmm. And if, God forbid, something like that happens to her, she will stay because mm-hmm. she feels like, well, mommy stayed anyways. Exactly. It's okay. So okay. I, don't, I don't condone that whole, you need to stay together for the kids. Mm-hmm. No, you're doing them more damage than good. Than good. Mm-hmm. Do you agree with the woman is the one that keeps the home? Apologize even when you're wrong. Do you think that is a pride thing that you have if you're not able to do that? Is that pride? If I'm not able to apologize, if you're not able to apologize for the sake of peace in your marital home, even when he has been wrong on several occasions before. I mean, for her, if she, if it's the moi moi issue, Mm -hmm. she could say, "Oh, what's going on? I did not know you do not want warmed up food. Mm -hmm. You could maybe have." communicated before. I don't know if she's apologizing for the fact that he threw it in her face, but there's two people in a relationship. Mm-hmm. So she needs to, I don't know if it's, I don't know what she's saying sorry for, but yeah. there needs to be a conversation had in that direction where it's, mm-hmm. can I have, can we get like more understanding I mean, about exactly. this? I don't think she needs to apologize. I don't think, so, sorry is a word. Like mm-hmm. for me, I, I dated someone that never said sorry and I dated someone that said sorry All a lot. the time. So <laughs> you know, like, when you get say someone that says sorry and someone says sorry, like, you now realize that sorry is not really the really? issue. Yeah. Like it's, it's not, the action. it's the action. action. So yeah. if this is what God has brought together, mm-hmm. you would definitely put that person's need above yours. And mm-hmm. it's a constant thing even in marriage. Mm-hmm. Okay, now she knows that he doesn't like frozen food. So she has to take and put in the work to make sure that she doesn't give him frozen food anymore. It really doesn't cost you think that's girl, the solution? Wait, no, 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 girl, no, wait, wait. Have the solution. <laughs> After yeah. the communication, you mm-hmm. have to know what he wants mm-hmm. at the end of the day. That's mm-hmm. one of the yeah, solutions. I don't think he's the frozen one my dad's issue. What? <laughs> does he have a job for This is a week after. Maybe he's not married. Maybe that's what I want. The frozen one my issue at that time. At that it would, time. It, it would probably something else would progress. So you need to know what it's exactly that person is. just what he wants. It's it's a lot of things. two people in this relationship. Yes. It's it's both ways, yeah. It's, yes. it's both ways. And coming to the middle. It's definitely mm-hmm. both ways. You know so I mean? would you cook every day for your husband? No, I can't cook first of all. So. <laughs> 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 I, mean, I can I can cook what I can eat, uh-huh. but uh, cooking is not really my like if I so they won't, they won't be three. <laughs> No, it wouldn't be three more months. I'll be the best no. chef and I'll be in that kitchen. And then that goes to back, back to what you were saying. Uh-huh. Who were you in the relationship? Maybe mm-hmm. this lady was the girl who was making more money every day mm-hmm. with this <laughs> And yeah. you saw that, ah, this one makes more money for me every day. And then one week after the marriage, they're bringing me more money from the wedding. For what and what mm. reason? How would you advise any woman trying to leave? What is the smartest way to leave? And what, what docs do you have to have in a row to <laughs> before you leave? So you're basically, you're saying you're basically on finances now. I think that's a very huge reason why a lot of women don't leave finances and kids. It is a huge reason. Mm -hmm. I was kicked out of the house five times and every time I called somebody, go back, do you know how many women, their husbands kick them out and they will be begging to stay in the house. Those were the kind of advices that I got. Mm -hmm. So for every time I got kicked out for no reason, on the street with my kids, I went right back. Okay, not... with the kids. So you were kicked out oh, with yeah. the children. Oh, yeah, oh, wow. I was kicked out five times. With mm-hmm. my, with my, then it was just my daughter. Well, the fifth time was with my son as well. But anyways, so I knew that, okay, already, if this doesn't work out, you have to have a plan B. Mm-hmm. So I started, obviously, I had a job. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I worked. Mm-hmm. But I started to financially keep mm-hmm. myself buoyant mm-hmm. for whatever reason. So like people might say, that, <laughs> actually keep buoyant. myself buoyant. <laughs> buoyant. <laughs> so people might say, oh, but she comes from, if I, no. Mm-hmm. From, for like eight months when I left, my father didn't speak to me. Mm. So there was no so family support stay? whatsoever. Mm-hmm. He wanted me to stay, stay until he found out what it was. Mm-hmm. Because throughout the marriage, I never spoke to anybody about it, mm-hmm. about what I was going through. Because mm-hmm. I felt like this is a marriage, it's you and this mm-hmm. guy, yeah, whatever yeah. it is. And I'm not the kind of person... Helped? 
Keep in, keep no, in silent. Okay. it didn't help. Mm. It did not help. And I also didn't want my people to see him as a bad person. Mm. I tried to protect that image, obviously. Mm -hmm. But the day when I left, my family, I, I cut off. They cut me off the tree mm -hmm. for a really long time and said, Shay, you want to leave, so be on your own. Mm. Eventually, when they found out what it was, then, you know, we came back to normal. But I kept myself financially oh, wow. buoyant. Mm -hmm. So I got a place. Mm -hmm. um, did it up nicely, mm -hmm. put my rooms for my kids. And, and you weren't, at this point, you didn't tell anybody else? I didn't tell anybody mm -hmm. else. But the thing about it was I prayed. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm, I'm somebody who I say, okay, if I'm doing the right thing, God, give me signs. Mm -hmm. Let me have peace of mind. Mm -hmm. Peace of mind is the only way I know that what I'm doing is right. right. Mm -hmm. And I prayed. And for every time that I asked for confirmation about mm -hmm. this, I had peace of mind. Mm -hmm. In fact, the first day I moved into my new house, mm -hmm. I hadn't slept in four years. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it, I don't, I don't think you understand what it means not to sleep mm -hmm. in four years. With your years. full eyes closed. Because I mean, it was yeah. two things. I was afraid of being killed in my sleep. Mm -hmm. That was one. Mm -hmm. And secondly, there was no peace of mind. So mm -hmm. I never, I couldn't remember the last time I slept from like 8 p.m. to morning. Yeah. So I told God, I said, today's the first day I'm going to stay in this house. If and I, I sleep, sleep till morning, yeah, yeah. then I know I'm doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. I woke up at 9 a.m. the next day. I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Yeah. So that was how I left. And eventually I took the kids. But this was the thing. He couldn't even contest it because he knew. Mm -hmm. He knew that mm -hmm. he had done yeah. the worst that could have happened. But some women have to be careful though. Because they there are some guys that are crazy. They're, they're wicked guys out yeah. there. That will come after you and come after But you yeah. need to be careful. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew where my house was for a really long mm -hmm. time. Yeah. In my situation, mm -hmm. it was what I had to do mm -hmm. for my safety, first yeah. of all and the safety of my kids. I think that's smart. <laughs> Don't tell anybody your plans. Do I <laughs> so if we were to summarize this conversation, what would we say to our moi moi sister? I feel, I feel sorry for her. I do uh, feel sorry. What would you say? Let's hear from you and you. Who, who wants to go first? Hmm. How would you? This, this is someone you married. So I'm hoping you know this person. Mm -hmm. So I would say, have a conversation with him. Yeah. Mm -hmm have a conversation forgive because forgiveness is not for him doesn't it. say yeah. yeah doesn't mean what he did was right it's for you so yeah. forgive yeah and have a conversation about mm. it that's what i would say yeah and what would you say in that conversation what's going on mm. because i don't think it's the more i honestly don't think it's more and more being mm -hmm. frozen that's the yeah. issue yeah. yes exactly you might not get honesty but you might not get what what you think you want to hear mm -hmm. you might not get anything at all but a conversation needs to be had you're married yeah. to this person you can't just leave right. can't leave. yeah mm. okay you're, still, you're fighting for your marriage. You have to. <laughs> well, you have to. Yeah. Have to. Right. <clears throat> what would you say to this moi, my lady? <laughs> uh, um, I'm so weak. With this conversation, I'm, I'm telling you. Um, I would tell her, I wouldn't tell her to leave her marriage, obviously. Mm -hmm. It's still fresh. I don't mm -hmm. even know why they're not in Dubai somewhere. Like <laughs> you know what I mean? But back to <laughs> their reality. Um, she needs to address, I think she needs to be a little firm mm -hmm. with how she addresses it, yeah. to be okay. honest. She needs to make him understand, and mm -hmm. I'm shining my eyeballs. That thing never happen okay. again. To, to In it, the actress is coming out here. <laughs> because it's not okay, it's not acceptable on mm -hmm. any level. level. Mm -hmm. yep. And she needs to be very firm and very clear mm -hmm. when, when addressing that. Mm -hmm. And then they need to have a conversation, okay, you know, then they can have like a meal plan and really yeah. ad address that issue. Mm -hmm. And generally, what the general issue is, because it's mm -hmm. too fresh of a marriage yeah. to to be having this kind of... But You're for so me, sweet. She said they can have a meal plan. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> because if moment, you should tell you, I'll give you something else. Oh, you yeah. know? But it is not... You can't throw things, things at me. That is yeah. not... That is not acceptable on any front. Yeah. For me, that is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. To address mm -hmm. that action. That should never yeah. happen again. Mm -hmm. And if he doesn't do it again, then honey, enjoy your marriage. If he does... Ah, shine your eyes. Mm -hmm. Morning, start, start, start making your plans yeah. to, to leave. And oh, I don't know if that's cynical. I kind of feel that's cynical as well. Women, mm -hmm. You cannot wait for this to happen before. Be independent, yeah. please. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Work for your money. And to be honest, mm -hmm. just work and mm -hmm. just be your whole, be a whole woman. You, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know who finds, I don't know about caretakers. I don't believe mm -hmm. in entering any marriage where mm -hmm. my husband is doing everything 100%. Mm -hmm. To be honest, because really it's not even fair mm -hmm. on anyone, that kind of burden. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Yeah, oh. but the thing is, sometimes men are not doing everything. Men are doing stuff 100%. Women are working, but they're not earning enough to sustain the family's lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's enough <laughs> in this day and age with what's happening now for mm -hmm. women to continue to sit and trying to contribute. I think you should really, if you can, try Contribute. to match. Yes. Mm -hmm. Try to match because 
it could happen. In my case, my father died at 34. So my mom was widowed at 34. Who expects that? She had had three kids. Mm -hmm. So she passed away at 43. So that's 10 years of raising children. You know what I mean? She didn't think my father was going to die when she was, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if she was the type of person that didn't work Mm -hmm. or didn't know how would you, you're not Mm -hmm. left with three children on your own. So I don't even think it's a competitive try and match. I'm competitive. I want to match my husband anyway. But I think you should try and match the lifestyle of your household or don't live a lifestyle that you You yourself without your husband can't afford. So I think that's what I would say that if you're young getting married and maybe he's sharing you with gifts and you think you've entered, (laughs) you know what I'm saying? You can feel you've entered, you know, some people are about brand names. They want to enter a particular family, a particular name Mm -hmm. because of the lifestyle that comes along with it. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have the potential, not necessarily now, to give yourself that lifestyle. Because that's taking your children from Corona ones, maybe whatever yeah. local school. Do you understand? <laughs> you know what I mean? From Corona to one down, yeah, one random school. school. You know what I mean? Saying, you know? Yeah, but I went to Corona, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you guys for joining me. That was a lovely conversation. Awesome. Thank you, Ine. Thanks thank for having us. Thank, thank, thank you, you already for being so candid and open. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's it for today, guys. You can join the conversation by using the hashtag Chick Chat Live. If you have a topic conversation you'd like us to discuss. Send us an information in the email below. See you next time on Chick Chat Live.